Hello and welcome to the episode 334 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. On this date, Paul and Pete were deported from Hamburg, Please Please Me was mixed for single release, and George and John recorded an interview that the BBC would distribute overseas. On the 30th of November 1960, Pete Best and Paul McCartney were deported out of West Germany after spending the night in jail. The two were returned to the Top Ten Club and given five minutes to collect their belongings from the Beatles' new living quarters, but only what they could bring themselves. Pete Best was forced to leave his drums behind. The two were brought back to jail, where they were denied the chance to place a phone call to the British consul. Their command of German was so scarce they hadn't exactly made out the reasons why they were being deported. And finally, put on a plane to London in the evening, paid out of their pockets. They would land in Britain in the early hours of the 1st of December. John Lennon and Stuart Sutcliffe decided to remain in Hamburg for a while. George Harrison, as we've seen in episode 325, had already been deported back to England. A Cavern Club lunchtime concert started the day in 1962. The Beatles opened and closed the two-hour show, which also featured a 40-minute set by Pete McLean and the Dakotas. The engagement is of particular interest because it was the first Cavern Club lunchtime gig to feature a color poster, possibly because of the Beatles' recent successes in the charts with Love Me Do. By this time, the band had acquired its definitive lineup: George Harrison and John Lennon on guitar, Paul McCartney on bass, and Ringo Starr on drums. During the day, a three-hour mixing session was booked at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road to prepare a mix for the Beatles' second single, Please Please Me, with Ask Me Why as the B-side. The Beatles were absent, naturally. On one hand, they had plenty to do in Liverpool. On the other, at the time, it was extremely rare for the musicians to actually be in a studio when active recording was not taking place. Producer George Martin and engineer Norman Smith took care of the proceedings. Finally, in the evening, the Beatles appeared at the Big Beat Show No. 2 event at the Town Hall in Newton Le Willows. One year later, in 1963, the Beatles' autumn tour stopped at the Empire Theatre in Sunderland, for another two full houses. On the 30th of November 1964, Beatles manager Brian Epstein was the guest of BBC Radio's Desert Island Discs. He was interviewed by Roy Plumley. On this same date, two days before having his tonsil removed, Ringo Starr was interviewed by Melody Maker. The main topic of the talk was his incoming operation, but Ringo also talked about I Feel Fine, which was the number one hit in the paper's single chart of that week. In 1965, George Harrison and John Lennon were interviewed separately by Brian Matthew for Pop Profile a BBC program produced for overseas sale and broadcast. The 15-minute interviews started, respectively, at 4.30 pm and 5 pm. The interviews were edited down to 8 minutes and, with the program signature tune attached as an opening, were distributed in March 1966 by the BBC Transcription Services. Meanwhile, in Abbey Road, between 4.45 and 5 pm, George Martin and Norman Smith were at work again, producing a mono mixdown of 12-bar original, essentially to give the Beatles a nasty disc of the tune. Let's close the episode with a certainty. On this date in 1967, the editing of Magical Mystery Tour went on at Norman's film productions, as usual something you can count on. 
Another thing you can count on is that tomorrow I'll be back with another episode of What A Fab Day. If you can't wait, you might want to head to www.simonmas.com support and see how you can get the limited edition NFTs containing the deluxe version of the podcast with hours of extra content waiting for you. Additionally, on that page, you'll find a list of things you can do to support this production and that of further music-related content that I intend to produce for your pleasure. Thank you for lending a hand. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.